Hello sports fans, I'm Colonel Failure and you are about to watch an exhibition match that is the recreation of the recent Hyper Electro Bowl in uh, in the Electro Sports Sports Ball League. And uh, if that all sounds completely nonsensical to you, uh, basically it is in a game called My Football Now, uh, which is a browser-based American football simulator that kind of has a bit in common with Football Manager uh, that is played by the good people of Bad Company. And uh, you can find details of how to join Bad Company in either the description or the comments below, depending on where I put it. Uh, we're doing this recreation in Axis Football 19, uh, which is a brand new football game that has just been made available uh, to those of you who like the Steam. And uh, they will find a link to that in the description. The devs were very nice enough to, uh, to send me a key for this one, uh, despite the fact they had no idea what I was going to do with it. Uh, now, because it is, it, well, because it is not Madden, and, you know, keep reminding yourself, it's not Madden, right? It's, it's not Madden. It doesn't have Madden money to throw at it, this one. Um, it is uh, it is quite uh, young and enthusiastic, let's say. Uh, but if you fancy something that's not Madden, that comes with plenty of good modding opportunities, uh, then I invite you to uh, to check it out for yourself. Anyway, let's, uh, let's uh, proceed here and get to the game. As soon as it's done loading the uniforms, of course. That's sort of all important. Now, I've had to mod the uniforms, which is why they look janky, because I spent approximately three and a half seconds uh, modding this uniform in. That's the Edinburgh Jesters, who are the defending champions of the Hyper Electro Bowl, having beaten the Reykjavik Bulldozers last season. This is the, uh, the Bulldozers' third consecutive trip to the big game, and uh, they've, lost, uh, they've lost a lot so far. So, uh, so they're, they're going to want to uh, to put something uh, up on the uh, on the scoreboard. Now, I'm taking no active participation in this particular game. I am only going to be observing, much like yourselves, except of course I'll provide uh, the rather splendid commentary along the way. I mean, you say splendid, um, it's going to be it's going to be pretty good. Uh, there we go. So there's your there's your jesters, there's your bulldozers. Let's get to the action. Yes, it does look rather like they're wearing compression tights on their arms, but I suspect there's probably some very good sporting reason why uh, why that would be the case. Uh, anyway, the quarterback for the Jesters is Anthony Oliver, and uh, and obviously uh, a near relation to that is Jeff Kane, who is going to be uh, is going to be leading for the uh, for the bulldozers right there. Uh, where are we playing today? Uh, playing in the Seattle Dome? No, I don't think so. We can play somewhere better than that. Uh, let's go and play in the. The Boston Stadium. Right, let's see, let's show the others. That one's got a space shuttle in the background. Cos. Uh, there's the harbour. That one's blue. Uh, Seattle, Seattle. Yeah. No, we're going to go to Boston. Uh, seems relatively uh, relatively solid. Uh, the weather is going to be lovely. Good. Difficulties on whatever. The rules are on whatever. And uh, the experts. Uh, Danny has come out and said that the Jesters are going to win this 34 to 12. You're wrong, Danny. Uh, Dave has said that the Bulldozers is going to win it 27-19. James reckons it's going to be 37-20. High-scoring stuff all round. And Joe thinks it's going to be 21-9. Uh, Quite why uh, Danny is so horrendously wrong, I have no idea. But, uh, but let's find out and see if these predictions come true as we head into the game. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this matchup in the Axis Football League. My name is Dave Stevens, along with my partner, Mike Steele. Any given Sunday. Sure, it sounds cliche, but we really are entering one of those matchups. Two teams who don't need much of an introduction getting ready to show us why they should be considered among the league's best. Yeah, all right. So you've got commentary going on in the background. And uh, when you tell yourself that that first guy sounds a little bit like Farnsworth uh, from uh, from Future Armor, then uh, then it really starts to become a little bit more uh, more excitable. Well, as this is the Hyper Electro Bowl, clearly the crowd have really packed the joint out. Or, you know, not, as the case may be. Uh, but uh, but there we go. Let's uh, let's get this show on the road, and the jesters are going to kick it off. Uh, there's there's uh, Huff there. He's about to give it a good boot and into the end zone. But uh, waiting to pick that one up is uh, Gabriel Transistor, uh, the number one wide receiver in the league this season, and didn't really get much 
that why I, I don't really understand why we're going from this end. Let's tr switch to a more traditional angle. And that's uh, Steve Mastodon there. And he's coughed it up on the first go, but Christensen's picked it up, and Christensen's proper nippy. Um, Mastodon coughing it up there, maybe maybe less than ideal, but uh, hey-ho. That's Kane on the, on the ball again. Over centre. Yeah, it's, it's like he threw it to the other team. There. Well, that's, that's a, an ignominious way to start the game. Let's see if uh, the Jester's offence has got anything, anything better to offer. Yeah, let's kill the commentary, shall we? Let's let's do that. Because uh, these clowns, they're not going to say anything good. Let's just turn that off. There we go. You've got all the commentary you need with me doing it. Uh, so, Oliver to snap the ball on, uh, where are we, second and nine. Uh, Childress again. Uh, one of the star players for the Jesters having a bit of a run there and getting folded up after two yards. Third and seven. And uh, everything to play for here. Take it to the air. Uh, Oliver looking, uh, oh he pulled it off, Chiefs snagged that one there to, to, to lash in the first down, how very marvellous it is for the Jesters to have a first down, we don't, we don't mind do they, oh we coughed that one up but Armstrong managed to pick it up, uh, Childress there flapping around on the floor, uh, throwing the ball around with, uh, with, with abandon, uh, second and five now, Childress, he, he, he almost ignored, he's coughed it up again, and, uh, and there's Cunningham with the recovery. Uh, I don't know if they think they're playing rugby. Um, if so, they, they might want to work on their passing a little bit. That's a nice catch to Hensley, uh, who gets them a second and two there on the uh, on the bulldozer. Let's say 48, thereabouts, somewhere like that. No, hold on, 38. Beg your pardon, I can't, I can't count. Hensley there with another good catch. And uh, the bulldozer so far not responding particularly well to what is quite an effective drive from the Jesters. Uh, that one's into traffic. Yeah, with uh, into quadruple coverage, Jones getting the pick off there, and that's the end of the Jesters' drive, just as it was looking good. Kane starting in his own end zone. And he's going to want to get rid, rid of that. And he passes it to Dirk Shafter, uh, the tight end there, taking the uh, taking the catch for three yards. Uh, well, what what uh, what excellence in uh, in athleticism that is. That one's dubious. Yeah, that was batted down. Uh, nothing, nothing happening there. No, that was a that was a stupid throw. Anyway, third and seven. Jeff Kane now. He's uh, he's passed it off to Mastodon, which is and Mastodon traditionally has, has coughed it up. Crockett there, the uh, the guard recovering. Um, right, well that's a punt, isn't it? And how far has that gone? Really not that far at all. Uh, that's about a, a 38 yard punt as uh, Cavazos and uh, and his friend there were rather heavily intertwined. Uh, now you could say that maybe that punt was backed up toward the end zone, maybe there a smidge, but uh, whatever the reason, it really didn't get much under that one. Oliver there on first down, uh, wide open, hit him in the hands, drop the ball. Excellent work, uh, solid professionalism there. Now all the ratings. Uh, of the players in this game I've uh, ported in directly from my football now uh, I use a, a quick conversion script that I wrote in Excel to uh, to convert uh, the uh, the player information between the two games that's another interception Sandoval there uh, one of the best cornerbacks in the league taking uh, taking the interception um, and uh, all those all those forecasts of this being a uh, a high scoring game currently look a bit foolish now don't they anyway that was Burks there was who grabs the uh, nine yard reception on first down and uh, Kane fakes the handoff gets sacked good lad excellent work uh, trying to trying to pull him in there on a, on a draw play maybe or a play action it's really hard to tell exactly what his thinking was um, it wasn't wasn't good that's for sure and there's, there's another dropped pass that's uh, highly effective stuff from the bulldozers who, uh, who have been menacing many teams over the course of the season. Well, not just this season, like lots of seasons. And there, there's another uh, pretty limp punt going on there. It's Cavazos with the return. Is he going to get any? No, he's, he strolls out of bounds. He doesn't want to get his shoes dirty. Uh, he's just going to uh, he's just going to run that one straight out. Uh, there's the pitch to, uh, to Childress. Coughed it up again, but, uh, but Romo managed to get the recovery. Uh, it's quite a quite a fumble tastic kind of a kind of an environment. This one, um, the ball evidently is very slippery. 
it's probably a new ball it's probably still shiny and that that one was a uh, that was a badly thought out pass I'm not gonna lie it was it was just not that was not clever not a clever pass at all anyway Oliver now on third and ten uh, can he do anything he's going straight for the end zone and it's a touchdown somehow and uh, that was Hensley who is the one the one oh no hold on a penalty uh, no, didn't count uh, maybe some offensive pass interference there mate no no I think that was that was probably holding uh, anyway Childress there gets the carry again and, and for once he manages not to fumble I think we're going to need a well, what are we doing? Oh, it's fourth and twelve. We're going for a field goal. Okay, fine. And up and over. And finally, the Jesters are on the board. Three to nothing as the uh, first quarter has but a minute remaining in it. Uh, obviously, we, we would have burned through that time quite a bit quicker if anybody had actually been able to hold on to the ball and, uh, and not uh, constantly stop the clock. Anyway, Transistor with the reception. And let's see what he's got. He's just going to go straight at him. Could have gone round the outside, but no. Where's the where's the honour or indeed dignity in going round the outside? He's decided to run straight at him instead. There's Kane. Uh, he's looking for a target, and uh, he found one. And they dropped the ball. So that's that's good there. Uh, time of possession on this drive so far eight seconds. That's that's good too. Kane under pressure. Managed to get it away. Just about. Uh, try to throw it to the defender but uh, but it wasn't to be he's completed two out of seven passes so far in the game that's it's not really MVP material that one. Oh, this one's gone deep Christensen there uh, getting the catch at the 40 yard oh, beyond the, the, the around the opposing 40 yard line that's uh, that's quite the bomb there thrown by no, what are you doing no don't stop throwing in a triple coverage and we got pass interference against the offense on Dirk Shafter and that's going to be uh, that's going to be accepted, bringing up a first and twenty. And uh, I rather suspect that's that's probably put an end to this drive. Although it's only first down, so who knows? Uh, yeah, that one that one went straight to the defender. But fortunately, there's a reason they're a defender. That reason being they can't catch. Go! Here we go. Second down now. Lots of yards to go. Picked off. There's a the thing. Ray there with the interception. And. Uh, uh, as we're just hearing from the lockers now that, well, from the sideline, uh, that uh, Tony Esparza, probably Tony, uh, has got a knee injury and is not expected to come back. There's another penalty. Uh, this one, Romo, uh, was holding. Uh, naughty, naughty. Uh, that's going to push him back to a first and 20. Oliver is uh, desperate to get something going here. Uh, let's see what we get. He's, uh, he's thought about it, threw it really short, and it was dropped. Thrilling stuff there. Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty dramatic. Uh, right there. Anyway, here's Oliver again. He's got a man wide open in midfield. It's Childress. And he gets the catch. Bringing up a third and nine. They're going to need to convert this, obviously. Otherwise, they'll be punting. And that'll go about seven and a half yards. And then the other team will have a go before they... Oh, no, it's Childress again. Childress is rubbish. Um, I, I, that's one of the things we say around the league constantly, is that uh, Childress is basically just rubbish. He's, uh, he's completely hopeless. Anyway, there's the punt. Gets to midfield. Transist. Oh, it's Julius Hardware. Uh, there's a strong safety who, who wasn't that strong. He went down after two yards. Anyway, at the end of the first quarter, it is three to nothing in favour of the Jesters. Uh, this is, you're looking at here with the Bulldozers, the league's number one offence. Uh, typically, they will play a little bit better than that. Obviously, they're not that bothered today. Uh, because um, it's only an exhibition game. They already won the bowl. No, oh, spoilers. Uh, the Bulldozers actually won the bowl this season. Uh, hooray. And, oi, Transistor there. Uh, showing why he's not... Hold on. Oh, holding. No, uh, Masto did a bit, a bit of holding action there. So let's let's call that one back. Yeah, just, just pretend that that one good play never actually happened. And uh, here we go again. It's, uh, oh, he's, he's open. Christensen gets the catch. And this time it's clean. And so we've had three plays in this drive. It's gone for 32 yards in total. And it was that catch that was the 32 yards. Mastodon there with the carry. He's coughed it up again. But Wiggins has got it. Now that's the uh, that's the left tackle there. Uh, he managed to uh, go for a bit of a go for a bit of a rumble. Get that one away. Uh, 
that's good. Master, if you can avoid coughing the ball up again, that's to be terrific. He's gone for the end zone. He's in. Ah, Steve Mastodon, who's not actually the starting running back uh, for Bulldozer Barry, is in fact the starting fullback. Uh, the CP. Uh, okay, fluff the extra point. This is uh, highly professional stuff. These are the best two teams in the league, after all. Uh, yeah. So, um, uh, still got plenty of time left in the first half. And uh, Hensley gets the catch. Is he going to try and avoid being tackled? He is. He's making a move around the outside, but he's going to step out of bounds. Uh, he's got to take a call from his agent. Uh, they've got him a, a new contract or something for, for selling a uh, soft drink that you, uh, that you have in your shoes. Oh, it's another, it's another fumble. Armstrong there with the recovery. Goes into some kind of bendy physics maneuver there as he lies down. Second and 13. Oliver now uh, reads, the, uh, reads the pressure. And uh, and throws straight at it. It seems. Yeah, so yeah, another another dubious dubious decision making there from Oliver, who's not having a great day. But then his counterpart on the other. Hold on, what's that? We got a flag there. What was that all about? False start. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, you really do expect better than that at this level. Um, but uh, oh, oh yes, it's just life though, isn't it? And uh, here we go. what's it going to be this time? It's across the middle coming, he's got a ball, didn't quite make the first down there, fourth and two, uh, now with the game on the line, are they going to go for it, no they're not, they're going to punt, ah, bunch of horses, go on, get it away man, 26 and a half yards, hardware, gets the pick up there, and he's, yo, oh, he's, he's lost that part, of reenacting a bit of Joe Theismann there, as, uh, as hardware gets tackled on the return, uh, obviously that's not exactly what Joe Theismann looked like, but I thought it was a good reference anyway. Demonstrating my uh, my inert knowledge, inert. Oh yeah, my knowledge is very much inert. And, uh, second down now. Kane looking for a target. He's found a yeah. He's he found someone who was very closely marked indeed. That's uh, that's not so hot. Now one of the things that you get with this uh, with this particular game is the uh, the option to speed up the way that it's played. And uh, and when we get to halftime, we'll do the second half at a slightly higher lick. Uh, so you can see how mad that looks like. Uh, because this is playing at the lowest speed possible at the moment, which is something, well, vaguely approaching reality. So someone else's knee there has just been dislocated. Um, oh, Bulldozer had to punt, obviously. Uh, so uh, the Jesters are back in charge now. Oh, Childress managed to get to the coughs it up again. He really doesn't like it when he gets hit. Uh, first thing he does is surrender the ball to the opposition, and they go, ah ha 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 ha. Now you see, the, the, they can stick with it though. I mean, despite the fact that Childress has not been effective today, and he's turned the ball over countless, well he hasn't. He's always had someone there to pick it up again. That one's, that one's gone out to the sidelines, as you can see, the players waiting there are related. Uh, the officials, looking studious there, stood next to the old dialer down. Putting that one away. I think the dialer down said it was second down. I was I was a bit uh, mistaken there for a moment, but it was in fact fourth down. And there's another punt because you know that's the best part of the game. Punting special teams. I forget your offense. And it's uh, it's all about special teams. Mastodon. Oh, spin move. Oh, look at that. Classy. Uh, manages to get nine and a bit yards off that one, leaving only inches to go. We're going to run it. Are we? <coughs> Yep, giving it to Mastodon again. Uh, he's fumbled it, but uh, Jean, who is in fact the, the starting running back for Bulldozer Power, managed to get the pick up and lose a bit there as well. So that's that's all good. Oh, the, the double play action, followed by a completely idiotic pass, and uh, and that's that's not gone well, has it? No, no, it hasn't gone well at all. All right, well here we go. Is the uh, is the punter well? And it's uh, heading for the sideline. And uh, Cavazos has got it. He steps straight out of bounds. Trying to preserve the clock, I reckon. Instead of just getting five or six yards for free there, he decided, no, I'll, I'll step out of bounds and, and hand this over. Childress fumbles again. This, uh, I think we, we'll just call this the Childress play. Um, and that's, uh, that's uh, Maximilian Powers uh, picking up the ball. Oh, hold on. Uh, Masto coughed it up as well. Fastidious. Who's uh, another tackle? We picked that one up. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's pretty good stuff. This uh, obviously the, uh, the the fumble ratio is is maybe not what was demised. 
For some reason, Clark's all alone. There is a flag on the play. Clark could have dived for the end zone. No, it's never mind. Holding. No, that's, that's, that's nothing. That's, this is uh, this is the um, this is the way that it was meant to be seen. Uh, this is your Go. this is your football there. And uh, no, ignore the open man. Yeah, give it to Clark again. He can go one yard. Perfect. Well, he went three. But, uh, you know, one yard sounds more dramatic now, doesn't it? He's had two receptions and made two yards in total. Clark on the day. Oh, that's nice. He gets it again. And he's got room. But he's he's gonna, just going to leave it there. He's just going to have a little lie down. The Jesters call a timeout. Because for some reason they're... They want to preserve the clock now, just in case they get the ball back, and they probably will. Ah, they've they called the timeout again. Uh, they're, oh, they're almost clairvoyantly calling the timeout just as Mastodon got hit. Uh, anyway, second and twelve. That's nice. And dropped. Okay. Well, you know, it's someone's going to make the uh, NFL films highlight reel at some point. It's uh, not that guy though. Whoever it was dropping a. Oh no! What are you doing? You clown. Trying to uh, trying to pass to the tight end there, uh, Shafter, and he, and he gets done for pass interference. Uh, the Jester's wisely choosing to, uh, uh, to to ignore the penalty as uh, Lazarus recoil goes for the uh, three points. And it's there. Nine to six uh, with a minute left to play in the first half. Yes. Uh, hang on to your hats there, ladies. Uh, the drama is only only shortly going to kick off. Uh, well done there, Tiny. That one went straight out of the back of the end zone. Yeah, that one wasn't wasn't particularly effective. Anyway, Oliver's back in possession, and anything could happen when he's on the ball. That's for sure. He's he's gone deep into double coverage. Unsurprisingly, that hasn't worked. Ah, oh, I'm shocked. Uh, anyway, second down. Uh, he's going he's gonna to give us a go. Let's uh, see what we get. It's to Childress, who is... He's just lying down there. Uh, they've got no timeouts left. It's third and four now. Clock is running. What are they going to do? Go! Go! Ah. Oh, it's Childress again, and he's got room to run. No, he's given up the ball. Because, of course, he has. <laughs> he's useless. Oh, dearie me. And, uh, bizarrely enough, he's got fumble avoidance of very high indeed. Uh, but uh, but it does not uh, doesn't seem to have translated across into this uh, into this manifestation of the football unit. Oh oh there now we almost got a sack. Love a sack. Sacks are great. Obviously not when I'm on the receiving end of them, but when I'm when I'm doling them out, love a sack. Oliver now first and ten. He's, he's keeping it on the ground despite the fact that there's only 15 seconds left in the half, and that realistically you either air it out to try and get in a field goal range. Or you uh, just let the clock, clock run out. What's it going to be? He's airing it out. Yeah, I oh, know he just slapped that one at the floor. Two seconds to go. It's Hail Mary time to the end zone. And uh, here we go. Throwing it long. And no. Well, that brings up the end of the half now, doesn't it? Uh, so Oliver's completed. Well, there you go. There's some stats, look. Uh, so uh, 38 plays to 40. So, you know, pretty pretty close in that sense, I suppose. Uh, and uh, what else could I tell you? Bulldozer Power have done more... Uh, it's not Bulldozer Power, it's the Reykjavik Bulldozers. They've done more actual yardage, uh, but it's uh, two turnovers to three. I think that's the more interesting scoring there. Now then, let's up the tempo, because uh, it, it's it's quite amusing. So we've got the, the run-play clock. Couldn't tell you. Uh, I'll put that on anyway. Let's put it on 12, because. Anyway, game speed is the fun one. We were on uh, 0.6 of normal. I'm not going to crank it all the way up to uh, to maximum. We'll stick it instead on normal. All right, brace yourselves. Uh, so we're, we're about to get, uh, you know, it's, it's going to get real. Out the back of the end zone again. Oh, dearie me. Anyway, Oliver, he's about to take the snap. So here we go. Hooah! And uh, flings it. No. No, that's first down and incomplete. There appear to be some exercise bikes at the side of the field there. 
Why? Don't know. Childress there. He's ducking, he's diving, he's weaving, he's dodging. And he's not fumbling. And that makes a change. Uh, third and four. McMillan gets his first carry of the game. Positive yards. Doesn't fumble. That is unusual. Uh, there's the punt. Here's hard. No, Hardware just let that one go. It's, uh, that's very much closer to... Uh, uh, to your my football now, where uh, if your punt returner ever touches the football, it was an accident. Mastodon there on first down, gets six yards, doesn't fumble. Uh, 12, 12 carries for him so far today, with 34 yards in total. Uh, but it's the halfback, Zhong, who gets a catch there. And that's lovely. And a face-masking penalty. Deary me, we, why have we declined that? Personally, I wouldn't have, but, uh, you know, you know best, I suppose. Uh, yeah, there's the interception that we were looking for. Uh, Cavazos, the kick returner, uh, managing to get the pick off there. And the Jesters now have the ball deep in their own half. Yeah, that was that was never going to work. Uh, second down. That's uh, his odd he's, he's throwing for 57. Oh, he's, he's running away from trouble, but he gets it away to Chi. Oh, what a great play. That was that was actually not bad. Well done. Everybody. Good good job there. And bit bit long. Bit long on the pass that one. Oh, I see what happened. I see when they snap the play, we it wipes a little bit of extra time off the clock. So we should rattle through this half fairly quick. Yeah, yeah. See, it's it's simulating uh, some huddle time. Did Cunningham get that? Flipping heck! What a catch. Oh, that might actually qualify as player of the game. Uh, double coverage there, snagging the catch. And we're, oh, that's that's just... Uh, they've kicked that one out into eternity. So, uh, uh, that one that one come off so well. Oliver again, making good decisions. And then failing to execute on them and making a bad decision instead of going with that. Uh, now, I know that you're all saying, like, there's a change of view. Oh, it's another fumble. Was that Childress? Let's say yes. Uh, there is a change view button there, but you have the choice of this view. You know, which you understand because it's video game football. Or, uh, hold on, wait, there, this view. Which might look like it's going to look great. <laughs> that was Childress coughing up the ball again. And uh, we'll, we'll sit in the... Oh, no, that's the end of the third quarter. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a good one. Fourth quarter. We haven't changed ends. Can't be bothered. Uh, let's go. And... No, overthrown that one there, Tiny. Fourth and three. Are we going to go for it? You're down by six. You could go ahead. No, we're going to kick a field goal. Oh, and that one worked. So that's uh, that's brought the score now to uh, six to nine. The uh, the bulldozers in the lead, uh, but they still have to do something with it. There's Transistor going for the sideline as ever. I uh, guess to about the 34. For some reason, we're, we're down here again. Though. But uh, hey, oh, it's Mastodon. He's on a big run. Oh, he gets clipped there. And that looked like quite a savage tackle. Anyway, here's uh, Jeff Kane. He's going he's gonna to make a play here. It's going to be a good play. And John gets the ball, and he's away, and it's a touchdown. Oh, well, I said it was going to be a good play, because it was. And uh, and that puts uh, Bulldozer Power, two scores, in the lead now. Uh, they actually made the extra point, which is, you know, unusual. Uh, but there you go. It's, uh, it's quite a lot to do now for the Jesters, with just four minutes remaining in the game. Hensley put a foot out of bounds. Oh, I see. Obviously, on offense, you only go uh, you only go in one direction. Well, okay, I, I can live with that. Uh, realism is not something that uh, that bugs me too greatly, as long as it's as long as it's entertaining to watch. Over there, he's under pressure. Throws away. McMillan gets the ball. We're going to switch the angle back uh, to something that we understand here. And uh, McMillan there having a great game so far, having not fumbled off his one run and caught the ball. There's Hallam uh, getting a catch. Uh, you're, we're starting to get some showing off now from Oliver, who, who seems to be of the opinion he can throw it to anybody. No, oh, he gets sacked. You know who he got sacked by? Exponential Tyrone. The greatest defensive end in the history of the Electro Sports League. Uh, anyway, that was an interception. So, uh, that's, I think that's, that's, that's probably game over. Mastodon with a big run there. Lovely, lovely work. 69 yards now on the day. And there's the two-minute warning. And uh, we're going to tidy this one up quite quick. There's Mastodon again, gets the first down. Runs for 10 yards. Uh, suddenly, here, late in the game, it looks like the bulldozers have, have figured out how to play. Hold on. No, they haven't. 
Okay, well, they, they, they gave it a go. Didn't quite work, but, uh, but there it is. No, Mastodon, no, he gets hit behind the line. No, no, you want a nice, nice little, I would say, crossing pattern, maybe. Maybe some kind of hook. No, something, no. Okay, never mind. Get the field goal. Why on earth not? Boof, missed. Okay, that's... Uh, that's Lazarus Recoil there, who, who holds the league record for field goals in terms of quantity. Oh, Oliver's under pressure again, and he's got, he got mashed up well good there. Uh, second and 18, he's now in his own end zone. Come on, I want a safety. Oh, I mean, it's another interception. Sandoval with his second of the day. Not dissimilar to how the actual ball went there. And there's Masto getting hit behind the line, but the clock is now running. Uh, the Jester's not calling a timeout suggests to me that they don't have any timeouts left. And the fact that we're just sitting here now suggests to me that the Bulldozers are just running the clock down. Which means that this is probably going to be a pass. Yeah, I know. You know, you'd expect it to be a run. But uh, no, I, I wholly anticipate this being a pass. Holy, holy anticipation. Second and 11. Oh, it's a run. Okay. All right. Well, there's some actual play caught. Flipping it. Masto's away. Uh, good running there from the big lad. And uh, are they going to... Are we going to... Uh, are we going to drive the spike home? Or are we going to sit through another 30 seconds of you pontificating? Quite why we're doing this out of the shotgun. I've no idea. Uh, unless it's a draw. I mean, if it's a draw play, maybe? Or a... Or a Halfback dive. I mean, that could that could work quite nicely, I suppose. But uh, we're going to have to wait another 15 seconds to find out because it's, they're playing they're playing just dirty ball at this point. Well, no, it's a pass. No, no, Masto was open there, but decided he didn't want to throw to Mastodon. He was already famous enough in this game already. And uh, anyone open? Ah, it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, it's a touchdown. Uh, Clark there, getting the touchdown that he was denied earlier in the game. Uh, to put this one beyond any doubt at all, and it's the Bulldozers, 23, the Jesters, 6. Uh, 20 seconds left to play. And uh, can there be any response from uh, from Wombat's boys? Wombat there being the, uh, the owner of the Edinburgh Jesters. Uh, are we going to see a miraculous turn of events where they come back? Well, after that... After that catch there, which for some reason went backwards, uh, I'm I'm really not feeling. Anyway, that's Chi. Should have thrown to him more often. He's done quite well. Um, but there you go. Two, one. This is the last play of the game. Hensley there with a nice catch, but didn't mean anything. Anyway, that's the ball game there, right there. That's that's your game as it was. Uh, let's go and have a quick look at the player stats because that's exciting. Uh, Quarterback rating of 20 there for Oliver. Um, he threw four interceptions. He, he'd he probably quite quite like to forget this one. Uh, with a much more meaty quarterback rating of 55, it's Jeff Kane. Only threw three interceptions. My goodness. Uh, rushing, uh, mastered on there. He did get 100 yards on the day, averaging 5.3 and five fumbles. Uh, switching over the other side there. Uh, Childress. Uh, he had a long of, of nine and uh, had nine fumbles as well. Goodness me. McMillan, he had one carry and, uh, and got a better average than his teammate, who is rotten. Uh, on the receiving side of things, we've got no fewer than, uh, than what's that? Five, six, six different receivers uh, there for the Jesters. There would have been eight, but the others kept, you know, not catching it and what have you. Uh, over on the uh, wait, no, 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 don't don't spoilerize things. Uh, the the bulldozers meanwhile also six receivers, uh, but uh, for some reason Wiggins is getting credit with the reception despite the fact he's an offensive lineman. I suspect that was some kind of fumble drop, hit him in the back of the head. Who really knows? And then defensively six tackles for Julius Hardware and uh, sacks Tyrone and Jones getting the sacks there. Interceptions two for Sandoval. Uh, one for Christopher Allison and one for Jones again. Uh, and I see a defensive back uh, getting both a sack and an interception. Uh, forced fumbles all over the place. And uh, and there's, there's that. So there you go. That's your Axis Football 19. Uh, details of which can be found in the description below.
No, it's not Madden. Yeah, it possibly needs a little bit of work, but it's the kind of game where if you pick this one up because you're feeling charitable, the devs will work on another one. And sooner or later, they'll get one that, uh, that doesn't fumble quite so often, maybe. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you'd like to get involved in the Electro Sports League and uh, a bit of sports ball, then uh, join Bad Company. We've got teams available now. Thanks for watching. Cheerio! So there you go, that's the, uh, the replay there of the Hyper Electro Bowl uh, from the Electro Sports League. And, uh, and didn't it go well? Uh, very few mistakes from either team led to really quite a nail-biting finish or something. Um, but I think the right team came out on top, and, and since it was the bulldozers that won the real Hyper Electro Bowl, then justice is very, very obviously served. And Childress is very obviously completely rubbish. Anyway, as mentioned, if you want to get stuck into this kind of stuff, uh, look for some details below there. And uh, and whether you come and join us in Electro Sports or not, the uh, uh, the game that we're all playing is actually free. So you can, you can go do that. And then you can export your player data, wang it into uh, a bit of Axis football. It's not something it supports. It's something that you can do. There's a, there's a, a way of converting it. Right, and uh, and you can watch those those digital dots zipping around the screen and fumbling the football.